morning everybody. I hope everybody's been having some fun at home today and we're going to be doing some maths learning together about the four operations. The operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And what we're going to be learning to do is make some maths problem posters that look a little bit like this. And what this is going to help us to do is to extend our learning about the four operations so that we're not only learning, but we're applying and reasoning with what we've learned. And that's how we become maths magicians. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is cut up some paper into little cards. You can use coloured paper if you like, or if you just want to use plain paper, or even some recycled paper, that would be even better. So you're going to get your scissors and you're going to very carefully cut a strip of paper, like this. You might have to do that a few times. I've got three strips of paper okay and you want to make little cards about the size of this card but if you want it to be bigger or smaller that's up to you so what you can do is you've got a lovely rectangle a four-sided shape and you're going to cut some smaller rectangles I can get three rectangles out of my strip try your best to get them the same size but if they're not that doesn't matter so we're going to do that again And we're going to do it again. And what you're going to turn these into is digit cards. Do you know what a digit is? A digit is a, um, a number, okay? And it's the place value of one, just the ones. So we're gonna start off with zero. We're gonna write that on our card. And then we're gonna go number one. Do you know what one's going to come next? Number two, three, four. Now when you're writing your numbers, remember to start at the top of the number. So I'll show you with number five. We don't start at the bottom of the number, we always start at the top. So you're going to start over and you're going to do a very neat number formation. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you're going to have your digit cards from zero to nine. You're not going to have the number 10, no, because 10 has got two digits, hasn't it? If we look at the number 10, the number 10 has got two digits. You can make the number 10 by using two one digit cards like this. A one and a zero makes 10. So I'm not going to have any two digit numbers on our digit cards, just the one digit numbers. So, get rid of that one. Right. Once we've done that, we can play a game where we make some number sentences. You'll also need to make some four operation cards if you want as well. Multiplication, subtraction, addition, division. We're going to start with the addition card. Okay, we're going to start with the addition card and we're going to make ourselves a problem. So you can have it as a game, you can turn them around so that you can't see what number sentence you're making, how exciting. And you're going to choose two digit cards. I'm going to choose that one. Um, I'm going to choose that one. What number sentence have I got? And I've got my add in here. I've got add three or I could have three add six which way should I do it I think I'm going to do three add six okay so leave that in front of you then you've got to get a piece of paper an A4 piece of paper big or small you could use and split it into three parts so you're going to get your pen and you're going to split your paper into three equal parts can you do that now one, got one equal part, 
two, three. So I've now got three rectangles on my page. And on our first one, we're going to write say it. Say it. And we're going to write three plus six equals. Because that's our number sentence. Three plus six equals. Say it. Three plus six six equals. Then in this box we're going to write show it. Show it. How can I show what three and six looks like? How could I do that? I could draw a picture or I could draw a number line. Which one do you want to do? I think I should start with a picture too. So you could draw a picture or if you've got any stickers or fun things to use, you can use those too. I'm going to do three gold stars. One, two, three. And then adding means more. How many more stars did I have? Six. So let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, three stars and six stars. And then we need to do how many all together so we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine all together. So that's my answer. I could also, if you want to challenge yourself, show it in a different way. So I could do a number line here, couldn't I? I want my number line to look quite pretty, so I'm going to use some different colours. Hmm, what colour should I use? Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's my number line. So if I'm doing it this way, I'm starting on the number three. I'm going to circle the number three. And I'm doing six more jumps. Can you jump with me? Don't forget to tell me when to stop. Six more jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop! Well done for remembering to stop me. I finished on the number nine. Again, I've checked I'm right. The answer is nine. Three and six more is nine. Now we need to do the next section, which is explain it. This is the trickiest section. You have to think of a little story that explains three plus six equals nine. So let's have a think. We could say there were three flowers in the field. Three flowers are in the field. Got my three. Six more flowers grew. More is a really important word for addition. There were nine flowers all together. Again, that word all together is really, really important for addition because when we add, we see how many there are all together at the end. Well done, that was one for addition. You could also do your problem posters from subtraction, multiplication and division two. So, I've got one a little bit ready for us. If we were going to do a addition problem for subtraction, okay, we would have to use our subtraction symbol. Do you know which one is for subtraction? Do you know? Yes. And then I can choose two more numbers. One, two. I've got five and seven. There's something important about when we subtract. Who remembers what number comes at the start when we take away? You're right, the bigger number.
number always has to come and start. And that's because we're taking things away. We, this, does it make sense to say I had five footballs and my brother took away seven? No, that doesn't make sense. You have to start with the biggest number. So let's do seven, take away five. We'll write it down, I'm going to copy it carefully up here. Seven, take away five equals. Okay, so we can think about another picture. I really like apples. So I'm going to draw seven apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples to start with. And I'm going to take away five. How can I show that those apples have been taken away? Imagine somebody's eaten them. All right, you put an X for it. I've got to cross out five. One, two, three, four, five. How many apples are left? Yes, two apples are left. And then you can write a number sentence about it. You can write how there were five apples in my basket and my cheeky brother come and ate five of my apples and now I've only got two apples left. You can write that in the explain it section because remember we always say it, show it, explain it. So if you're doing the addition and subtraction, that's absolutely brilliant. Some of you might be able to challenge yourself with multiplication and division. And I'm just going to give you a little idea about how you could do that one. So, multiplica multiplication is quite tricky, but once you know how to do it, you'll be very, very good at it. So, we need the multiplication sign, which looks like a cross multiplication just like that. I'm going to choose some numbers. Three, lots of six. Three, lots of six. Now, you might think this sounds tricky at first, but I'm going to show you a really easy way to do it. So we're going to write three, lots of six, because that's what this X means. It means groups of or lots of. So let's do three groups. So we're going to draw one, two, three groups. And then inside each group, we need six. So we're going to put six inside each. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that one means how many all together in all of our groups. So we just need to count each of the dots. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Excellent! All together there are eighteen. Three groups of six is eighteen. And we can make a story for this. We can imagine that these are baskets. There are three baskets and each basket has six what? What about six bananas? That would work, wouldn't it? There are three baskets, each has six bananas. How many bananas all together? tricky multiplication. This is another example of the multiplication. Five lots of two shoes you can see here. Right, the last one we're going to do, and it's my favourite one, is sharing. Sharing and dividing are the same things. So you could pick your division, Card, your division, your sharing looks like this. Okay, and I'm going to think of a, you can choose a division, you can do six 
shared by two. Okay, so what you need to imagine for dividing is that you're sharing equally. So six sweets shared by two people. You can draw those two people. Okay, you can share out the sweets. One for me, one for you. Six of them. So we're going to get to six, then we're going to stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop! How many do they have each? They each have one, two, three sweeties. And we could write out our explanation just like this. This one's a bit trickier because 15 sweets shared by two people. We shared the bow and we had one left over. Okay, so each of the children gets seven sweeties with one left over. I've explained it here. Mummy had 15 sweets. She shared them equally with two children. They had seven each and one left over. Well, I don't know about you, but my brain's feeling tired with all that learning. I think I better have a brain break and do some more later. I hope you've enjoyed your maths today. Bye guys.